little windy out here today, so if my hair is blowing, hey man, I'm just happy at my age to have hair that blows, okay? I'm in Indianapolis, sitting on a park bench, just like any old guy would, but I've got a camera bag with me, and I've got a new camera. <laughs> this is the new Fuji X100V. V for five. So this is the fifth generation model of the X100 hybrid rangefinder and electronic viewfinder camera. And some of the new things they put in just have gotten me very excited and I'm having a blast shooting with it. It is now out for around $13.99 and it's available today from your local camera store. But one of the things that's new is this. Now you have a flip out rear screen. Having a rear screen like this that I can do low angle shots and review my images on a small camera like this is just incredible. For sake of comparison, you can see this is my X100T, T for third model. I skipped the fourth and now I've got the fifth. And this has been a workhorse for me. Um, this is my dinner party camera. This is my go out to the bar camera. This is my camera for uh, family events. It's my camera that I can just reach into the back seat and get all the time. And you can see there's one heck of a lot less buttons on the newer version camera. The drive button has been moved to the very top over here, uh, which makes it very, very convenient. Um, and you no longer have this navigation touchpad down here. Everything now is replaced by this individual joystick which is multifunction for uh, controlling direction and also a push button, which would uh, give you the so-called okay functions along the way. You also have menu, play, display back, and over here you have the Q button, which is for the quick menu button. This is a kind of a new camera altogether, but it's just as easy, if not easier to work with. It's a very flat lens, as you can see, they're not very obtrusive at all, with a clickable f-stop range and two knurled uh, finger areas where you can kind of grab a hold of it and move it uh, to you like, and they do click, and they're clickable at one third stops. So very, very convenient to have in regards to that. Here is your switch that goes from electronic viewfinder to the optical viewfinder. And there's a function button in the middle, and normally I will set that function button to be my playback button. So if I have my eye to the viewfinder and I take a shot, I don't have to pull the camera away. All I've got to do is push this button and it displays the playback. And then I can use the back thumb knob here to go back and forth, forward or backwards. Also, we have a neural knob up here and this neural knob is set for a number of different things. But if I'm in playback mode, uh, I use this neural knob to be able to uh, zoom in and zoom out of the picture. You can also set the rear knob to do the same thing. You won't find an M, P, S, or A button on this camera. So if you want aperture priority, you basically have to set the camera to the aperture that you want and then set other things to A. So on the top of the shutter dial, there's an A. In the ISO window, there's an A. And on the lens, there's an A. So if I shot and set all those to A, I would be essentially in the P mode on a normal DSLR type camera. If I take this and change the shutter speed, which easily is uh, uh, twisted and the shutter speeds that are available are everything from BT all the way up to four thousandths of a second. And I can shoot in complete silent mode too, which is very, very nice. So you can set your shutter speed and now your shutter speed would be the priority. If you want to do aperture priority, you set the shutter speed back to A and then dial in your f-stop. So now I have aperture priority. And that's simply how that works. So we have our exposure compensation knob, which does not turn easily, but does turn with your thumb when you have it in position here. I've got a custom and a button here that I can control different things, such as uh, zooming in for focus. My shutter speed dial, I just lift to change the ISO, and you can see the ISO changes in the window. Or I can just turn the dial to the selected shutter speed that I want. And of course, don't forget, I've got a button here which I can usually normally set for doing my video. Fuji is brilliant with their menus and it's very simple uh, to set up. So essentially you just push a menu button and you have a series of menus you scroll through and you're using this control knob over here and 
you know, you go up and down, make your selection, dig into your selection and back out. Okay, let me just kind of read off uh, some of the specs very quickly. Uh, this camera features, okay, a brand new 23 millimeter lens, F2, it's got a 35 millimeter equivalent, a full flat tilting LCD, which I think is worth the price of admission alone. Just to have a tilting LCD screen on the back of this camera and be so small is just incredible. The viewfinder is new too, much brighter, much easier to work with. There's an aluminum, magnesium alloy body. It's a newly designed body that way. Dust and weather resistant. A new battery up to 350 to 372 frames and a new film simulation that wasn't there before the classic negative. It's the first 4K 30P for the X100 series. So now we're doing 4K video with this camera. Uh, the ability to be able to shoot color and black and white JPEG or any kind of film simulation at one time, to be able to do 4K video, be able to be able to shoot 350 some odd frames on a single battery charge. And more than anything else, because I have a bad back and a lot of times I like to get down low to shoot reflections, I now have a tilt screen, which I can now hold down to the floor or the ground and take pictures with. This is a camera I know I'm going to enjoy. I'm not even worried about the image quality because it was already exceptional. And from the tests I've seen, this lens is even gonna outdo the other lens considerably. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you like this video and we have a bunch more on our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please check the subscribe button and the bell button if you wanna be notified when there's more. I'm Kevin Rayer with my friend Michael Durr behind the camera where we're enhancing your vision.